Hey guys, let's continue working on the 2023 Skidoo Expedition Superwide. Today we're going to be installing some extra wide ski skins. Provide some extra flotation at the front of the machine when going through deep snow. This is the ski skin that we're going to be putting on the machine. You can see the uh, original skeg will bolt up through these uh, the slots and uh, hold most of the ski skin on. At the front here, under the label, we peel that off. You can see there's a, a, a dimple. That'll get drilled and drilled up through the ski. And there's a, a bolt or a rivet that'll be going in there. And likewise, at the back, we've got another dimple. We'll be drilling and uh, marking that. If this were a turbo sled, there would also be a, a metal protector that we would be installing on the top that has a couple more bolts that would be holding it in place. But since this is a normally aspirated 900 Ace, we don't have to worry about that. Just like all the other accessories we've put on this machine, instructions get downloaded from instructions.brp.com. Gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to install these. However, uh, just like the other ones, this set of instructions does multiple examples and uh, you've got to read through and make sure that you're applying the right steps for the type of uh, install that you're doing. While it's not absolutely necessary to do it, uh, we're going to take the skis right off the machine, primarily because that allows us to set up on a work table and uh, demonstrate to you better how we go about installing these. Let me bring you guys back when uh, we get things kind of staged up on the work table and uh, get the front end of this machine jacked up in the air. We've got a 5 8 wrench on the, uh, the head of the bolt and we've got a 15 mil on the impact gun. Wow. <laughs> okay, I guess I need the wrench. Break that loose with the wrench. Take the rest of it off with the impact. There's our Pilot 7.4 ski. We've got our uh, skeg that we've got to transfer over onto the skin. Let's put this up on the table and we'll get the uh, installation done. You want to be careful that you don't lose the, uh, the cushion that belongs in here. You'll notice there's a, a tab in the front that engages with a slot in the ski. So we'll pull that out so that it doesn't go wandering away. Take the impact gun and in here, you can see we've got the uh, retainers for the skeg. And uh, 13 mil. And in the instructions, they make it very clear not to reuse those nuts. So they just go away. The hardware pack comes with, uh, with new nuts. Skeg drops out of there. I'm going to grab a piece of paper towel and just wipe the uh, dirt and stuff that was underneath the skeg out of there because it's going to be getting trapped by the ski skin when it goes on. Oh, no. Place the, uh, the ski skin over top of the original ski. Get it so that it's lined up the front and at the back and reinstall this gag. Get it seated. We take the two new nuts out of the parts bag and install them on the studs that come through from the back side of the skeg. started on by hand and then we run them in with the impact gun. This, that gets the ski skin well started. The instructions say to use a quarter inch 
drill bit to drill through the dimple at the front and at the back. One thing we do want to make sure of though is that we're holding the uh, the ski skin tight to the uh, to the base ski when we drill this through so that we don't end up with a misaligned hole. You'll notice we've got two different sizes of uh, screw here. We use the the larger one, the uh, M6 at the front, along with an M6 nut with an eye lock insert. We'll start the nut in as far as it'll go, and uh, we'll leave that for the time being. Now let's get the backside. Again, we've got a dimple. And we need to drill through the uh, quarter inch drill bit, squeezing the, the tail of the ski together. And again, inserting the M6 bolt. Now we're going to have a small problem here because the, uh, because the socket that we need to use is the uh, ever elusive 10 millimeter. We happen to have one, but uh, everybody loses their 10 millimeter. So. With these M6 bolts, you want to make sure that you get them good and snug, but at the same time, you don't want to overdo it because they, uh, you can easily break them off. You know, the tip of the bolt to come through that nylock is a little bit hard. You'll notice that I was ratcheting the electric ratchet. That uh, puts a little more torque on there. Once you get through that initial nylock resistance, the, uh, the rest of the bolt tightens down pretty quick. So this one, we put our cushion back in place and we're basically ready to put it back on the machine. We've got the ski skins attached to both skis. Now we need to put it back on the machine. Because the skis are wider, we can't turn them to clear the impact gun to get at the nut. So what I'm going to do is uh, put both sides back in place without the nuts being tightened. Then we'll get the jack and jack stands out of there. And then we can put the impact gun on the ski bolts and get them snugged up. Absolutely do not forget to do that though. Note to self. Now that we're back down on the ground and we have open access to our skis, we'll snug everything up. We've got our ski skins installed, we've got our skis reattached. That's pretty well the end of uh, what we've got planned for this machine for this fall. Why don't you leave us a comment down below, suggest some other accessories that would go really well on this machine. We've got a couple of ideas ourselves, but uh, we're more than happy to read what you guys have to say. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Greatly appreciated. Can you leave me one of those thumbs up things down below? If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and uh, check the links in the description to see uh, my merch store that I've got on spreadshop.com. Thanks a lot for watching.